I'm going to explain now how you can actually write an answer to this question, which is about forward markets in currencies. I've set out in another video how you understand the information that's been written here and the main basis for the answer. So the question is, with reference to extract A, this extract here, explain the role of forward markets in currencies. Because it says explain, we need to make sure we're getting two marks for knowledge, two for application and one for analysis. Remember, application can be an example of something and or it can be referring to the data that you've been given here. You need to understand what a forward market is to answer the question. That will be where you're showing your knowledge. And altogether, there are these five marks available. I'm going to write an answer to the question, and then we can just link it in here with the extract that we've been given. So I'll say that forward markets allow firms to reduce their risk of being affected by fluctuations in their currency against another currency. And I'm actually going to change this so it says forward markets in currencies because that makes it clearer that we know that we're talking about it being in currencies because actually your forward market could be in something else apart from a currency. For example, it could be for a commodity. So this is our knowledge at the beginning. Forward markets in currencies allow firms to reduce their risk of being affected by fluctuations in their currency against another currency. When this UK firm purchases raw materials from Europe, having made a forward contract removes the element of risk of the variations in the exchange rate between the pound and the euro. For example, the picture framers made by timber from France, full stop. The forward contract will fix an exchange rate at which euros can be purchased using pounds as a certain date in the future for a certain quantity of euros, full stop. So forward markets in currencies allow firms to reduce their risk of being affected by fluctuations in their currency against another currency. When this UK firm purchases raw materials from Europe, having made a forward contract, removes the element of risk of the variations in the exchange rate between the pound and the euro. For example, the picture famous made by Timber from France. The forward contract will fix an exchange rate at which euros can be purchased using pounds at a certain date in the future for a certain quantity of euros. You can see here that I've put in the knowledge 
is showing that it reduces the risk that they have of being affected by fluctuations and I've also this shows knowledge as well at the end because I've explained that there's a contract and it will fix the exchange rate and it will be in regard of a specific date and a certain quantity of euros that's all to show the knowledge the application you are talking about buying raw materials from Europe that would be application also application would be the fact of the example that the picture framers they've given you in the example are buying timber from France. And the analysis is the explanation of all of this, that you have tied it all together rather than just saying that they reduce risk and they have a contract. You've explained how that applies to a business. That would get you your five marks.